Many homeowners continue to clear away trees and debris from this past weekend storm. Sawing up trees requires extra precautions, and as Delane Cleveland reports, if you're not careful, it could mean a trip to the emergency room. To find remnants of Friday night's storm, look no further than Brookdale Drive, where a toppled tree greets passersby. At some point, someone will have to clear this mangled mess. But Hennepin County emergency management officials say there are a few things to keep in mind before people channel their inner lumberjack. No matter who you are, stop, think, plan. What are you going to do? Field operations I'll, specialist I'll Kelly Fisher demonstrated the proper here. way to Number remove two, debris. He says handle, storm damage cutting is the most dangerous brain. kind there is. Because you don't have a tree that fell over. You have a tree that fell over like this. So they can be stacked, they can be pressing on each other. You don't know where the tensions and pressures are. So before anyone even thinks of sawing their way through a tree limb. People who don't cut a lot, all they know is this is a, I just bought this. This thing cost me $380. I'm going to go cut some wood with it. He recommends a trip to the hardware store for steel-toed boots, thick leather gloves, a helmet with a mask and ear protection, and chaps to prevent injury to your legs with a chainsaw. What happens are these strands pull out. So these Kevlar strands will pull out and actually stop the saw blade from going around. When it comes to the chainsaw itself, he says people should familiarize themselves with the various safety features. When the chain brake is off, the chain springs freely. Chain brake is on, can't move. Using a saw without the proper safety features or failing to start it properly. So this, very dangerous. So the proper way to start it is like that. Could result in a trip to the emergency room. The average injury with a chainsaw is 120 stitches. So if you do the math on an emergency room visit for 120 stitches, guess what? This stuff looks pretty good. In Medina, Delane Cleveland, 12 News. Hennepin County officials say it costs roughly $500 to buy the proper equipment needed to safely clear tree debris from your yard. But if you don't have the expertise to use that equipment, they say it's best to call a professional.